Hello, my friends. I was asked, what is your connection to Jesus? And, well, we have a very old connection. It started in the beginning of all days. God gave the word that he wants light, and I was born, and the universes and the gods of all heavens started to recognize themselves. Before that, they only recognized God in themselves. Now, they got recognized that they were different, that all of them had their own manifestation. And God recognized that there needs to be love which connects all the universes, all the heavens of his manifestation. So, he gave existence to Jesus born out of God himself, he started to travel through all the worlds to connect them by love. The day we met it was at the feet of our Heavenly Father and we looked into our eyes and we recognized we are one light, one love, one origin, brothers forever. So over the times we lived together, shared our wisdom, our light, our love with all the worlds and when earth came into existence we came here together all one after the other. In the times of Atlantis, in the early times, the Father in Heaven wanted to have two kingdoms of Atlantis and one was ruled by Jesus and one was ruled by Agni. At this times, God gave us the Holy Grail manifested through his love and whenever one of the kingdoms had the rulership, the Grail passed to that kingdom and when the next kingdom starts to rule, the Grail passed to the other one and everyone on earth could find himself in unity, in love and light, connected with the divine. It was a happy time for most people on earth, but then people decided that they may be more powerful if they experience their, themselves not connected to the divine by their own power, their own will. And that was the time the Holy Grail and the Holy Kingdoms went back into the heavenly home and leave people to their own will. After <clears throat> some thousand years, this made the destruction of Atlantis and the Age of Darkness ruled the Earth for 26,000 years. 2,000 years ago, Jesus and I incarnated again in Israel and we met when we were boys and started to enjoy our education together in the age of 10. We traveled to all the holy schools around the planet. We went to Egypt, to Greece, to Tibet, the Himalayas, to India, to, met, to meet all the masses of that time and to spend seven years in the blessing of Buddha Baba Babaji, who gave us the last polish for our journey. Then we went back to Israel and most of the story there is well known. Um, after the crucifixion, Jesus went to India, I went to France, and we met there two years later to spend the rest of our life together traveling through Europe and through Asia to spread the seeds for the Golden Age, which now will blossom. In this age, we decided that I'm going first and he will follow. So I prepare his ways. Looking from heavens, he says, okay, there are no paths on earth which I can walk. All I laid 
of path, all my layers of path, they are gone dark. Nobody remembers my real teachings. Nobody remembers the sacrifice I took to make golden age our next step in the earth development. So all Buddhas of all heavens, all masters, all avatars, join in on earth to prepare the path again for the love of Jesus. It's the Christ love which is already embedded in the earth and earth is already giving birth to this light and this love. And as we walk on earth we prepare ourselves to join in to return being one love, one love, one light with all beings, and all beings being one with our heart, one heartbeat which connects us to the Divine. And in terms of time, of heaven, it's only a heartbeat away. We are on the doorstep and everybody can join in and remember that we are of one origin, that we are of one heart, that we are of one light that we are all one in the divine so please come in join enjoy the love that is unfolding for you enjoy the light that is unfolding for you be the love be the light be happy welcome to the golden age